What is going on guys welcome back to another video i have bring an amazing day to this video we are going to taking a look at the latest of miui based on china beta running android 11 on our redmi note 5 slash redmi 5 plus so again a lot of you guys actually requested me something about redmi note 5 and here you go finally video because there is nothing really special in this xiaomi killed off the support middle way and then again even in the rom development community there is just not enough so again there were few ports with android 11 miui back in march now this is a latest one and it pretty much has everything working like from the developer the bug list is just nothing to be honest everything just works fine well i haven't been able to get safety net working properly right over here so the banking experience won't be that good but basically everything else just works extremely great all the moa features are over here from the latest android 11 devices so again this is june 21 beta so again latest and greatest Again, there is not a lot that has been released with MIUI 12 over the Android 11 in past few months as the teams are just been focusing on the stable updates like pretty much still K20 Pro in India doesn't have an Android 11 update based on MIUI 12. It's really that bad. But yeah, keeping that aside, again, I'm sorry for just disappearing for a week. I was in nature like quite literally and I just wanted my break. So yeah, I'm finally back and taking a look at UI, as you can see, very smooth experience. There are quite minimal lags right over here. I mean, the app opening speeds and everything are just fairly good. Again, it's a very weak processor. But as you can see, even if you just go to the apps, they open fairly quick. Let's just do that again. As you can see, AI preloading kicking in. Again, you have beautiful animations for all of them. I just opened something which is under the RAM. Still, as you can see, the speed is really good. Like the AI preloading is really working fine on this 3 gig RAM. But again, going to the left, as you can see, you have your normal app vault. Again, you have all the Chinese widgets right over here. Again, this is a complete China beta. I have actually installed G apps on this. Again, just going to the notification panel, very smooth. But the quick settings panel is quite laggy, as you can see. There is a lot of stutter even though there is nothing in the background, but the notification panel is very smooth. Again, you can swipe between both of them. Oh shit. So let's just go through the settings. Again, you can sign into your MI account. That just works fine. Again, June 21 build, scrolling down all specs, Android 11, the latest that MI has to offer. Scrolling down pretty much nothing. If you just go to the connection and sharing, you have me share, which again supports a lot of the phones. Like look at that, Samsung. I never even knew Samsung Asus and ROG when these were added. Please let me know in the comment section below. I went completely left out when Xiaomi added these. Wow. Scrolling down, there is nearby share, link to your Chromebook. There is no MIUI Plus right over here. But scrolling down wallpaper and personalization, there is again a lot of the things from the MIUI 12.5 or 12.6 as you can see. So for example, scrolling down, you have this geometry wallpaper which isn't a super wallpaper there are no super wallpaper supported right over here i don't know which device this has been ported but you have this evening afternoon or morning indicator right over there again the icons don't really fit that well so something like a redmi note 10 i guess is used for the base but this is how it looks in the dark mode just like ios let's just apply it there you go coming back to the home pretty smooth experience overall so let's just switch to the dark mode Besides the quick settings panel, everything is just extremely smooth. Look at that. That switch was so good. Let's just switch back to white. Just like that. Really nice animations. Like MIO is so polished now. Again, if you just scroll down, you have liquid colors. Minimalism. Yeah, all the older wallpapers, like even these dynamic ones. So scrolling down, you have a lot more personalization as you expected from the China betas. But going down, you have always on display now, completely working right over here. You also have the notification effect, just like OnePlus or Samsung Edge Lighting. If you just go to the styles, you pretty much have everything that the China Beta store has to offer. Like look at that, a lot of customization with animations. And now if you just apply something like, let's just apply this 24 hour one. There you go. And you can set the timer for show items only for 10 seconds after tapping so you don't burn your LCD. And again, just look at that. How dark the display is. I've been quite lucky with my Redmi Note 5 display. My Note 5 Pro display isn't that good. It has few bleeds, but as you can see, it's just completely black. Like quite good quality display right over here. But let's just wake the phone. Again, face unlock works very good. All the myometrics just work fine, even the fingerprint scanner. So tap, there you go, very fast. Scrolling down to the display, just like iOS, you have dark and light mode right over here. Like even one UI. 
more dark mode options you have everything from android 11 you have anti flicker mode which is of no use you have color scheme which must be broken saturated saturated is just warm yep it's broken so coming back home screen notification panel everything is just the same you can actually dig in through the system and you can find a lot of stuff but control center style again it's two stack which i don't know when was added but yeah you do have a lot of things right over there even into the biometrics everything just works fine security again has a brand new ui as you can see find my device then again this is shutdown confirmation yeah a lot of stuff like emma is one of the most secure OSs that you can find and then that's pretty much it in under the bugs the emma camera is a bit wonky but you can install any of the gcams and it just works fine i picked up this random one and it just works fine as you can see it clicked a hdr image right over there so anything that you're already using must work extremely great on this android 11 base and then let's just get to the installation so again it's very simple you have to just unlock the bootloader of your phone install a custom twrp recovery that shouldn't be hard it's a pretty old phone there are like thousands of guides on it so once you do that just go to the recovery by pressing your power and volume up at the same time swipe to allow modifications let me just adjust my brightness there you go going to the wipe advanced swipe dalvik system data cache so our phone is completely clean now as you can see i had an encryption error so if you just can't access your internal storage just go to wipe again format data type in yes hit enter and your internal storage should be completely mounted as you can see it's broken so let me just mount that as you can see successfully formatted now just copy the three files which would be the magics the g apps and the rom itself once you copy all of the files just swipe to unlock there you go select the rom add more zips Magix isn't necessary but if you want to install gfs and if you just want the optimum stability just have it installed as you can see the rom is now being installed it will take few minutes and as you can see the rom has been successfully flashed without any errors so reboot the system right away again the first boot will take two to three minutes or more it's a big rom there is the brand new miui boot animations and the phone has finally booted again you have a new icon right over here which is kind of off centered maybe that's just the dpi but it also has a new animation i haven't seen this before maybe in latest china betas but as you can see in english language let's just complete the setup quickly so skip everything again there are a lot of agreements right over here than before so again just skip through everything again this is a new one ai button i'm not quite sure which device this is let me in the comment section below which Redmi devices or Xiaomi devices have a dedicated AI button that run on Android 11 or currently. So setup complete. There was no gesture or anything. That was very quick. Maybe that was removed by the developer and there you go. Again, the phone has been completely set up. So let's just go to the camera, go to the settings and disable the pocket mode, camera sounds, device watermark and face detection. As per the developer, this reduces the crashing of the camera. So I can now just completely click it with the AI and HDR mode completely on and it shouldn't crash. As you can see, completely clicks pictures without any issues. And even the ported mode works just fine. Just the panorama is broken as per the dev. And then for Google Play services, just go to Magix. You have to install the app. So for that, let's just connect to the Wi-Fi. And the wallpaper has changed itself so i don't know whether that's some service or something but let's just install the magics there you go it will download itself and that was really quick install open request additional setup so just do that the phone will reboot itself successfully installing the magics once the phone is back up just again unlock it go to magics again look how responsive the phone is so again just go to the storage file manager select the weave g apps hit ok this will install the latest play services and google play store just like that again reboot and once the phone is back again you should have your play store right over here with all the google play services and sign in completely working fine now if you have any kind of play services crashes you have to just install the latest android 11 play services apk no dpi version and it should be just working fine Again, as you can see, you can just sign in right ahead. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it on how you can upgrade your Redmi Note 5 slash Redmi 5 Plus wins onto the latest version of Android based on MI 12.5 beta. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please drop a like and subscribe down there for more content like this. See you guys in the next one. Peace.